Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Bard Still 4. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today inside Fiona's dungeon. Hi Fiona. Ugh. My head. I... Wait now. Wait. Who are you? Who sent you? Oh I. you look like adventurers. But how do I know it? You could be more of them crazy bastards in disguise. I'll hear the guild whistle from you before I say another word. Go on then. Okay. I, I got. I got. Ooh, look at that. I wonder if it's if it's her that's gonna teach me all this. Uh, so this is the one. All right. All right. That's the whistle. I suppose you're who you say you are, and I suppose I owe you my life. Charm worshipping bastard nearly did for me. And if you hadn't taken care of the rest of them, I'm sure they would have finished the job. So, thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Ravi said you would know about Mangar. Ha! <laughs> I know a dozen songs about how he was killed by a few plucky adventurers after he encircled Scarabray in the ice. I know mothers still use him to scare their children into eating their dinner. What else do you want to know? He's not dead. He's been raised from the grave. We need your help. Fian, preserve us. You're serious? Ah, this is terrible. The bastard was hard enough to kill back then when he was laying waste to all and sundry. And he was mortal then. Oh, it's all of a piece, the way. Keith suddenly crawling with cultists and monsters out of your worst nightmares. And at the same time, the Church of the Swordfathers hanging the very people best equipped to deal with it all. Something's going on. Well, Al Alguin said Mangar might be stopped if we had his reliquary. Aye, he's right. To defeat a wraith, you've got to confront it with its reliquary. Only when spirit and bone are together can it be harmed. He'll not find it when Mangar was buried, though. He'll have taken it and hidden it in a locus of power. If you want to kill him, you'll have to find it, then bring it when you face him. Do you know a sorcerer named Yadis? Alguin believes it was he who worshipped Mengar. I don't know the name, but it has the stench of the charn about it. And if Mengar has taken orders from him, he's likely very powerful indeed. We heard Yadis tell Mengar to seek Sialmar of Coil? That's bad. Sialmar is the oldest and wisest of the elves. If these ruffians are after him... They'll be seeking his knowledge, and it's no likely they'll ask politely, is it? Where would Mangar go to find Sialmar? Sialmar lives in Coil, the realm of the elves. There's not many ways left twixt our world and theirs, but one still stands in the forest of Inshriach. That'll be where Mangar is headed, and he'll have hidden his reliquary there too, likely in some charn ruin. But watch yourselves if you go after him. The Fichte rule there, and they're suspicious folk. You'll want to tread carefully. Um... What do you know of the Charn? The first men who ruled before the ice covered the world. They worshipped strange and terrible gods and built great cities on both land and sea. But then they went too far and challenged the old races for dominion of the Seven Realms. Now all that's left of them is their ruins, which lie hidden and festering like cancers in the earth. Avoid them if you can. They can corrupt the unwary. Did I ask this one over here? Let's go with that. Sialmar lives in Coil. Yeah, it's sort of weird, because of course it lives in Coil. It's off Coil. Uh, right there. <laughs> Thanks for your help. The Inshriach is to the north. If you seek Mangar, that's your path. Uh, hang on, before you go. Is she gonna join us? Listen, you've got me thinking. Yeah. I can't just stay here collecting songs and preserving the wisdom of old days when the world has fallen apart around my ears, can I? It's time I stopped burying my head in the past and started using what I've learned to make a difference in the here and now. So, I'd like to come with you. I can sing and play. Hopefully, and she's throw a like a fifth a slot. Will you have me? 
Yeah, we would welcome your help. Thank you. She is the fifth slot. Unfortunately, she's level nine, which is a shame. Yes, confirm. Lovely. Indeed. I'll just pack my harp. What the reaver takes. Oh, quest rewards. It's got a zombie. Okay, some gold. Okay, go away. No, the zombie went away. Dang it. Give me the zombie. Not zombie. Whatever that is. Ooh. It's a it's a very interesting song. Guard the tunnel if you must, Master Galbroy. But the songstress will meet her end here by my hand. And so shall any who come seeking her. For the glory of Yadis, I swear it. Ooh, an axe. Well, I don't really know. I'm not really sure what that was all about, but let's see. East what do you of need? 28 is pretty good. But she's a bard. She's probably going to be for buffs. So I will keep. What can I do? She gets hit a lot. May let's I keep you over yeah? here. Excuse. Let's keep things like that. Let's look at our level ups. She has. She doesn't. Eh? She doesn't have here. a level up. It's her that has a level up. Oh man. Okay, intelligence. Uh, so I want. I want that. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. does anybody else have a hey. level up? What do you need? They do not. What about items? Hey. What do you like? You have an arp. No, you have a tank art. Yeah, we're gonna need trowels, queasings for these guys. You have an arp. Do I have something better for you? This. Indeed, a tambourine. It is better. Also, a sword. A Mothran arming sword. Is any of these better? A little bit of extra strength. This is better. Oh, this is a pickaxe. You can actually wear this? Good for you. All right. Oh, wait a minute. It's a pickaxe. It's better for him. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, she can also wear this. Uh, oh, that's the same sword. Good. It's a little bit better. Yeah, so that one is a little bit crappier. Anything over here she can wear? Maybe this? Ooh, a little bit more constitution. So she's a good frontliner. Good stuff. I mean, better than... Nah, not really better. She doesn't have armor either. What's her specialization? Uh, on the fence over here. Light armor, it's basically what? the same. So she's a frontliner. As well, mm -hmm. she can be a frontliner. I'll yes. keep her... Pardon? Hey, pardon? Here, please excuse. I think this is good. Mm -hmm. That does mean that... Oh, let's also look at our mastery book. That does mean that this particular thing doesn't work quite as well, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the anybody that's over here. Hey, hey, what you have? Chop. Uh, target foes are shrunk, reduces their strength by 50%. That's kind of cool. Let's put things like this. Not amazingly cool. She's probably going to be very situational. Reduce all ability cooldowns of your entire party by one. Yep. As I said, very situational. What about this one? Uh, mark all enemies with uh, damage that detonates for five true damage. That is fantastic, actually. Uh, and then she, she has Sanctuary Score. Gives an allied combatant a shield with a 10... Co oh, that's pretty good. And then a Storm of Blades, which does damage. Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, wait a minute. That's... Yeah. Okay. Sorted by one, two, and threes. Not really sure how well she's going to work in our team. Hopefully very well. So we can't go back through there. Did you see that? Did you see that thing change? Oh, <gasps> it changes. What the heck? What's wrong with you? Look at that. Hey? What are you... Why is that rock changing? That's the weirdest rock. That's the weirdest rock. Anyway, we're... The sa yeah, we're in the same area. We were on the other side. I'm gonna lower the volume, because this is... Game is all over the place, as you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got fairies! Great! Not all birds... Oh, but then we have nice... No, soundtrack. Not all birds sing beautiful songs. It is for you to show the way. Hello. So these song, these birds can't be, can't be moved, and they just point to nowhere. Well, I can kick you. That's how the show of the way, isn't it? Well, I say kick, but it's shoe. Yay! Okay, good stuff. And that opened that door. Brilliant. Didn't we have enemies in here? Is that it, or is that it, or is that both? 
What the heck is that? Hello. Oh boy, that's gonna be loud. Oh, they have spellcasters. Where did you come from? Prepare yourselves. No, yeah. I don't like it. I don't like preparation. Uh, so we have 50 or oh, 41 trial squizens. This is free, so I'll just do it. Oh, each time your bard takes a drink, they get a little drunk. If their drunkenness level exceeds their intelligence, they'll have a brief burst of strength before they pass out and are stunned for one turn. All this can be seen if you inspect the drunk status effect. Drink responsibly. Yes, especially if you don't, if you drive. Or rather, if you drive, don't drink. She's not driving, fortunately. Um, and and that, that's that. Intelligence 7. So her le what? how do I see her drunk status? I don't I don't see her drunk status. We got Sanctuary, which is pretty good. Uh, but I don't Tell know me. if I want that. I'll just I'll just stay there. Okay, so first things first is mark all these guys with um, the thing. The thing that happens. Conjurer's mark. Okay, hopefully she actually lands Oh she didn't. Hmm. That's a shame. So you have meditate. Uh, and I have Rain of Arrows that I'll probably do over here. That's good enough. Uh, and then I can shoot you back there. I probably want to Bye. take care of these guys first. I'm not really sure how first that's going to be. Well, here. let's hope that this works well. Yeah, we shouldn't die in the first, in the first thing. Move! Okay, they're wasting already three action points. Please don't shoot. Yeah. Oh, dang it. Ooh, 13. That's I dead. Know. Oh, that, he's going to die. Oh, no, it's not him. Yeah, 13 is okay. That is fine. That's two kills. That's pretty good. Okay, so you're not channeling. You are channeling. This means... Yes. This means that I'm going to levitate you up here. What the? What the? Yeah. And then I'm going to do a charge bolt, because that's going to trigger the Conjurer's Mark. Uh, and then I'm going to do... I can do a normal attack back there. Ooh, you have things over here. Oh, the restore the cooldowns. Is that free? That is free. That's awesome. So. Good. Okay, you need another charge. You need another hit. Can I attack? Oh, you, I forgot about you. I'm sorry. Um, this might be bad. Um, let's see. So. On your word. Hmm. Well. Now what? Uh huh. Let's go with this. Yes. <laughs> that was a sudden song. Let's do that. Mm. Oh what? Oh. Things <laughs> Oh, he took away the mental thing. No, you're... Sh just don't say those things. Um, okay, so I need to taunt you, but I can't. I can... I could try this, but what I can't... What do you want me to do? I can't do that, because I don't have skill On or spell word. points. I can do this over here. Do a little bit of a charge. I can do that over there and kill you, which I will do. Get out of my... Oh, he didn't even finish his thing. He just said, get out of my... You don't attack? No, he does. Do you char charge? Yes, you do. That's usually what these guys do. They're not very... Bye. They're not very good at this. Let's taunt you. That is correct. Ready, I suppose. Let's do this. Should have done that. Here. Before. On your word. On your word. Well, I can do this. And we did take a fair amount of damage. We got a little bit of experience as well. Uh, Bardish Studies. Did you see that? What was that supposed to be? What'd you get? Bardish Studies. What do you mean? Don't study. Don't don't study. We're here to fight. I suppose. Okay. Let's see what she has. She... Two points. That's good. Okay. Let's see what she has. So she has Musics over here. Musics? That's right. Um, Troubadour for extra intelligence over here. She also has... Stun yourself in a single enemy for two turns, and you're forced to dance. Uh, if the affected target takes damage, uh, uh, or you end this dance, the enemy is freed from the spell. That seems interesting. It's... There doesn't seem to be a resistance to that. I got some intelligence up there. Quite a lot of intelligence, actually. Which is good for resistance to booze. Or to the 
Squeezings. Minstrel Journeyman. Spellbound. Grants one spell point to all nearby... Oh, lovely. Is that... Oh, lovely. Grants, grants one or three bonus opportunity. It's a channel, though. Aw. Well, still, it's pretty good. I'll go with that. That's good. So that means that she needs to... Yeah, she does affect everybody. Do I go with maximum spell points? Maybe. What is that one? Lyric of Legend. So that's a different thing, isn't it? I think so. Let's let's see if it's a mastery. So, yeah, it's a different thing. So she has she has the spell song and okay. So this is good because it's a shield. This is good because it's amazing. This is good because uh, it's damage to everybody. Everybody? <sighs> My God. Uh, that is yeah. That's very good. Uh, this is good because of very situational stuff, but uh, I like it, so I'll have to sacrifice it. Does that make sense? It doesn't. Don't worry. It's fine. Do we have something up there? Yes, we do. We're not going to need to heal. That's also fantastic. Uh, okay, so I could go with that. I don't want that mastery. That's maximum spell points, which is always good. But intelligence, I think, is going to be important as well. What is that? Just intelligence amazingness. So she has strength. I don't want that. I want resilience, constitution. What is this? Kills rudiment. It's a stance. I don't need that. I need defense. So I have Tumblr. Can equip Jester's shoes. That doesn't go anywhere. Oh, also Tumblr. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Uh, over here, extra constitution. That sounds good to me. And that is just extra constitution, which is pretty nice. Do I really want that though? It's got a lot of brewing over here. Ooh, that is good. Master craftsman over here. Let's go with science. And then let's try and go for that. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Beautiful place. Really a lovely place. Let's look around. So there's nothing over there. There's still a sound around here that I don't like. Let's consume this ba baby. That sounded terrible. A steel key. What's that one? I didn't see. Is this bronze key required? So all locked doors. Yeah, I figured there was going to be like a lever or something. Fairies observe the birds closely. When standing before them, fairies act accordingly. Yeah, I know. I... Is, is this like the another entrance to this whole thing? There's another bird over there. Okay. So this doesn't... It just pulls them back, because the bird is looking that way. Hopefully this one... Yeah, this one has something else. Oh, herbs. Nice. Take that. For my pochons later on. Some of that. Very good. Oh man, that looks awesome. Oh, with that in the background. Pretty cool. Okay, so th that's a bird that goes over here. There's another bird over there. That is gonna go right there, so you need to push the bird that way. And then this one, which only has one face, pushes the bird that way. Sounds simple enough. Let's push the fairy in the right direction, or shoo the fairy in the right direction. Here it comes! Fairies are the best. Whee! <laughs> the same sound again. There we go. We done it. Let's just make sure. That's a lovely, also destroyed tower. Ooh, got something up there. Ooh, definitely got something up there. Got something down here. Ooh, got a key as well. Bronze key. Sounds like somebody's name. But it is not. How do I get up there? This doesn't look very doable. Oh, I can reach from here. Let's climb. Let's go. Ugh, ugh. All five of... Oh, what the heck was that? All five of us going up. We got shoes. Ooh, lovely shoes. Shoes that we can use. Where did they go? Over here. Need something? Yes. You can use these things. They add armor class. Conjurer's boots. That's something you need. You need mm -hmm. that. You can't use these, though, because it uh, requires Conjurer's robes. You have some intelligence. That's okay. I think I'll... I'll be okay with that. Armor class isn't armor class like resistance? He took damage like a champ, so didn't have much resistance. Hmm. 
I'm not sure. Um, anyway, let's go back, because we have the bronze key, which is not this door, but that door. Oh, I can't go through here. It's still making a noise. I don't like the noise. Please stop the noise. We got more puzzles. Okay. I love puzzles. Well, fairies. What do we have? A flock of birds fly in unison, each a part of a whole. Hi. Oh. So, he needs to point in the same direction? I mean, I figure. How am I going to point it in here, though? Who's been cutting these trees? You're terrible people. Maybe it's pruning. I don't know. I don't know how to prune. I know some people, some professional people, do uh, pruning wrong. I've seen that. I, I mean, I can't judge by myself. I've seen people commentate on that. I know a person who's very good at it, and he says, oh, some people are terrible at this and stuff. So how exactly am I supposed to do this? Or is that a, ma a mixture? Sort of an average. Off you go! I'm not sure they're dying. I think they're just... Happy. Is this a an average? I wonder if it's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wonder if it stops if I show the, um, the one that doesn't have anything. Off you go! Yep. Secret? That wasn't a secret. That's the steel key. And a thing. Pray to the shrine of double six in mem in memoriam. For extra experience. I like it. Also, there's enemies. I see them. I see the enemies. I don't like them. Or maybe I do. I don't know what they are. But I probably don't like them. Oh. I like the towers that they're in. Okay. Let's, uh... Still terrible noises, but at least we know where to go. Into the steel door up there. And into the end of the episode as well. Because we're out of time. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Bard Stale 4. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.